Hello, I'm Emmanuel Freund. I'm the President CEO of Shadow. The next generations of console that are coming out, PlayStation and Xbox, do you think they'll adapt a similar sort of cloud technology at some point? Yes, they uh, already announced that, actually. And, and that was a big shift. And six months ago on the E3, you had every uh, gaming studios that announced that the future of gaming and the future of humanity, of course, is the cloud. That's, that's the, next, the next game, the next gaming console will be a cloud gaming console. And the reason of that is that Google and Microsoft announced that their next gaming console in 2020 will be a cloud gaming console. The reason is quite simple, actually. It's because, you know, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a very simple mathematical operation. Normally, to video games, that's the cheapest uh, entertainment ever. You're paying 50, uh, 50 bucks to play a game for 100 hours or 1,000 hours. I mean, taking a drink is way more costly on the hour. So, the cheapest entertainment ever, but to access to this entertainment, you need to actually buy a $400 console or $1,000, uh, uh, even more PC. So, it actually diminishes a lot the kind of people that can access to this kind of uh, entertainment. If you think about that, a cloud gaming console uh, or a shadow thing, you can just pay 30 euros or 30, uh, 30 pounds or even less, and then plus the game and you can directly play on any device. So suddenly it's affordable by much more people. So that's why Google and Microsoft are saying that in two years they will do a gaming console. And on top of that, their ambition is clearly to do the Netflix of video games and, and have some kind, I mean, like a gaming console, uh, a limited numbers of, uh, of games uh, that you can buy on, uh, and on the quality, which is a console-like quality. Like, I mean, you will do full HD on uh, 60 frames per second, it will be good, but no competitive side, no, no real uh, high quality or whatever. It's just coach gaming play, which is funny, easy to access uh, and everything. We really think that first there is a real market, a more free market, where people want to choose their own games, install their own mods, maybe do something else than playing on their computer, like working, like streaming, like, like uh, do everything. So we want to have something really open and our goal is really to provide a computer and let the users to replace the gaming computer and let the user do whatever he likes, not give a, a, a library of video games. And if they want to use on top of that Microsoft or Google system, they can. The second thing, is that actually the cloud gaming, and that's what we will announce in, uh, in, uh, in three days now, the cloud gaming is actually something that enables new way of playing. So yes, it first enables a lot of m more people to play because uh, of the cost. It enables also a new way of development. So you can imagine your big servers and the players that are already there. You can add one million players suddenly, and you don't need to synchronize everything. You just need to send the results because everything is, doing, is, is happening there. And so suddenly you, you reduce the time of development by one third. There's a lot of things you can do. Open world that are still live when you're disconnected. Uh, like I said, battle royale of uh, 1,000 people. Cloud gaming, the cloud itself, enables way new ways of playing. So that's what we'll show and we'll explain uh, by, uh, by uh, introducing Hive in, uh, in uh, three days, which is our new platform, community platform, with uh, kind of a few uh, special uh, tricks. Hive opens a world of new interactions where players can share what they see or even switch controls to accomplish more together and change all the rules. Hive allows you to make your own kind of game, to create a new supercharged experience, and write the future of gaming with all gamers.